let's continue our discussion of the anterior pituitary hormones, adrenal corticotropic hormone, otherwise known as ATH, is released from the anterior pituitary during times of stress. ACTH will travel through the bloodstream to the adrenal gland to release cortisol, which breaks down fats and proteins and synthesizes glucose. This should make sense, hopefully, because as we've talked about before, a key equation known as cellular respiration couples oxygen with glucose to make ATP, which is significantly important during times of stress. The adrenal gland sits atop the kidneys, as such as we see in purple right here. If we look at a frontal section of the adrenal gland, it's broken down into the periphery, which is known as the adrenal cortex, and the interior, which is known as the adrenal medulla. Upon arrival of ACTH to the adrenal cortex, cortisol is released into the blood. Cortisol is a type of glucocorticoid that is synthesized and released from the adrenal cortex. The adrenal cortex is also involved with mineral corticoids such as aldosterone, which regulates sodium levels in the blood, and the sex steroids, androgens, and estrogens. In green here, we see the adrenal medulla, which is composed of nervous tissue just like the posterior pituitary gland. The adrenal medulla releases the catecholamines, which include epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine. These are neurohormones because they are, they are released from nervous tissue directly into the bloodstream. 